Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 7th through the 31st love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We'll see what comes up. This is for Gemini. 7th through the 31st of August. Thank you to all my supporters. I appreciate all that. I appreciate all the subscriptions. I'm close to 10,000. Thank you very much. Um, thank you to all the bookings. I've been very busy. And now I'm going to concentrate on you. Mm. Hidden forces? Huh? Looks like we got something going on behind the scenes. We're not sure, quite sure what it is, but we might be able to find out. There's something going on right now. Hidden forces that are involved in your life. Now, this is, I'm recording this on the 7th, the day of the lunar eclipse. I'm going to make sure I got enough space for all my cards. Okay, so here we have a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Here we have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, here we have some new love. And here we have, um, this is the Three of Pentacles. This is about moving. Perhaps you're going to be moving on from somebody. Maybe um, something is finally going to come to fruition that you have been working on for a while. Perhaps think times have been really challenging. Um, but this is in the future. So... It looks like uh, right around the 7th, there's definitely some hidden forces, especially with the lunar eclipse today. Okay, there's something going on in your life that kind of um, makes you uneasy, okay? Perhaps you are thinking about two people. I'm just guessing. This is a man or a woman. This is the earth sign and this is the fire sign. Perhaps you're trying to decide who to give your love to. This is a love reading after all. Perhaps you're going over in your head all the challenges that you've had with each one. I don't know. Um, expand your horizons, okay? Do not do not be afraid to expand your horizons. Yeah, you're going to let somebody go. I think this is what this is. You need to make a choice. I think you're trying to decide... <laughs> where your future lies. Does it lie with this earth sign or does it lie with this fire sign? You know, but the universe is hearing your despair, so just, just remember that. There's hidden forces right now that are listening to whatever's going on in your head. Um, here we have the Eight of Swords. This is the feeling of being trapped. Right now, I think that you feel trapped. You're, you were feeling trapped in a situation, probably in your own home. You know, it feels like you're feeling trapped when you don't, you, you're really not trapped. You can leave. You can free yourself whenever you're ready. You can just open your rings and fly away. You're fully ready. Nothing is holding you back. Okay? Here we have these two eights, and this is August. Big changes are in line for you there, Gemini, this month. That's for damn sure. You are going to, I think that you're going to leave somebody behind. I do. I think you're going to make a choice between two people. And, you know, it may shake up your security a little bit. You may feel a little insecure over the whole deal because, you know, when you do something like that, you know, it becomes new again and it becomes insecure. But this is telling me this new love, this is a new welling of emotion and it's a beautiful new welling of emotion. That cup is full of love, okay? And it will lead to happiness. It's going to lead to happiness. And I think it's something that you have been waiting for. Okay? I think that you deserve it. I think that you've been waiting for it. And finally, finally, it's going to come. I think you might be leaving a Sagittarius behind. We have Sagittarius here and Sagittarius here. And this is you leaving them behind in hopes to have a comfortable home, maybe with an earth sign. Could be any other sign. But this is a very comfortable home establishment um, where you can be completely at ease. Okay? And in this comfortable home, believe it or not, you will be secure and there will be a lot of love. 
a lot of love. This is a major awakening, okay, this judgment card. This is an awakening. This is a breakthrough, finally, finally. This is what this is. It's like an epiphany. Oh, my God, I can be happy. Oh, my God. That's what this is. It's like happiness in love is, is true. It, it, can't, it can happen. This right here is a sign of Sagittarius, but it's also also the sign of overindulgence, okay? Um, doing too much of something. Something becoming overwhelming, okay? Um, maybe this, this person was too much. You know, they gave you too much. They were after you too much. They, they, um watched you too much, they, maybe they were too jealous, maybe they, they didn't trust you, I don't know, it just seems like they were too much for you, it's like, whoo, back up, just, just please, back up, that's what I feel, oh, Okay, so these right here are the pages. We have the page of swords and the page of wands. Messages, messages, mess. Pages are about messages. It looks like you are being told to have courage. Okay, you need to have courage to get through this. There's no doubt about it. That's one of your advice cards right there. It's going to take courage to go through this. It may be a little scary. It may be a little chaotic. Okay, you know, and it may... Um, this is, don't worry about what other people think. It's not, it, you need to do the right thing for you. Okay? Don't worry about what anybody else thinks because your happiness and your comfort matters. All right? Let's get some more cards. This is for Gemini, August 1st through the 31st. You're about to have a breakthrough that leads to love. No kidding. No kidding. And I think it has to do with leaving somebody behind and making a choice. You definitely need to make a choice. And it probably is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. But Sagittarius is really... You, coming out at me and I think that you know they have um, they've made you feel trapped you know and you just want out I think that you want to leave but for some reason you can't maybe there's children in the picture and you feel like you can't leave because of the children or um, I'm not sure Maybe they're nurturing. Maybe they're very nurturing. Maybe they're very beautiful. Maybe they have a beautiful soul and you're just, you feel like you can't, you, you can't do it because you don't want to hurt them. But here we have you, Gemini. This is, this also represents you. And you are looking for love. You want real love. You want that full cup of love. All right, you have all the resources to succeed and to manifest love. No kidding. All right, and happiness. Maybe this person has somebody else that they're then you then. Anyhow, maybe this person has somebody else. You know, and you, maybe that's your awakening. Maybe, that's a maybe. This isn't going to resonate with everybody. Okay? Maybe um, you just can't work with them anymore. Maybe you just can't work with them anymore. It's just like, you know what, we've tried long enough. This isn't going to work. You know, I can't be a third wheel to another person or to your job. Because here we have somebody burying themselves in their work. It's kind of like a way to escape. So it looks like, you know, somebody is... You know, you don't want to be the third wheel anymore. You want to be the ultimate love. Here we have Aries. This is about taking back your power. 
it's also an Aries. This is about taking back your power, taking a back, back control of your life, taking a leadership role. This is about um, regaining structure in your life. Okay? This is advice for you. Okay? Now, this could be an Aries or a Sagittarius, this other person. Okay? Um, but this is saying that you need to have confidence and you need to do the right thing for you. You need to take back control of your life. That's what this says. We're trying to get some love here. Let's get three of these. I see that, that there's a new welling of emotion up here. There definitely is. There's a new, there's a new, um, beginning of emotion possibly for somebody else um, pay attention to your dreams because your dreams are trying to tell you something um, your power to manifest at this time is very high so if you want something ask for it and believe that you can get it all right there definitely could be a third party in this situation with whomever you're with you know, and that's why you need to make a choice. Either you have two people you're interested in or your partner is messing around with somebody else, okay? Maybe somebody became pregnant, I don't know, or you're stuck because of children. You have a lot of threes here. So threes are about your, air, prayer, ugh, your prayers being answered, okay? That's what three your prayers have been heard, okay? It's time for change. Um, remove what no longer serves you. That's what threes are about. Get rid of what no longer serves you. It's time to move on. It, you got this one twice now. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. This is under this earth sign. So it's somebody who has a lot of earth in their chart. Okay? That you have the ability to have happiness with ten of wands this is burdens underneath this fire sign underneath the fire sign these burdens and yet next to the Aries and the Leo and the Sagittarius okay ten of ten of wands too much too much like I said too much too much too much um, there's too much stress, stress related health concerns I think you, whoever that person is they're, they're, they're bringing you down they're bringing you, you need to release it. It's too much for you. And the emperor again. Isn't that funny? The emperor. You seriously need to take back control of your life. There is no doubt about it. None. When the emperor comes up twice, this is about structure. It says organization, logic, structure, and discipline. Leadership. Take the leadership role. You be the leader of your fate. You be the leader of your destiny. Okay? Now we're going to get some of the Angel Romance cards. What do you have for Gemini? Ooh, somebody needs this, this freaking fire sign. Unrequited love. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. You have Aries a lot, too. I think it's a Sagittarius or Aries. Could be a Leo. Leo. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. That's over this person, okay? Make the effort to reach this person. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort. Maybe you need to communicate Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. If you're scared, okay, if you're scared and you don't know what to do, you need to bring back that childhood um, person. You know, when you were 15, 16, 17, and you were being crazy. That recaptures romance. If you, if, if you go up to somebody and you slap their ass, it, it's on. Just saying, that's just an example, okay? I'm just saying, that's what playfulness is. Okay? 
<laughs> be careful. You could get punched for that. But you know what I'm saying. If you feel comfortable doing that and you're in the right situation. But be careful with that. Um, anyway, that's just that that was an example for you. Um, take back control of your life. All right. Big, t big message with these two emperors. Um, I got this new deck. I'm going to have to read from the book, but I'm going to give you one card. Last time I said one card for somebody and two came out, so we did two. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. We're going to take one card and see what comes out for Gemini. What do you have for Gemini? Discernment. Discernment. To, let's see. I will hold that up in just a minute. Depicted here is an adaption of the three wise monkeys, replaced by three vintage geishas. Their gestures characterize the famous proverb, Speak no evil, see no evil, and hear no evil. Our sense organs can lead us astray from our goals and best intentions, or aid us in getting to the truth of a situation. The discernment card heralds an opportunity for powerful growth and expansion, and the need for raised awareness. Examine the facts, draw on every, any relevant wisdom learned from past experience, and listen to your intuition. Now is the time to examine the bare truth before moving forward and being mindful of any possible consequences or of thoughts, deeds, and actions. Three spheres, the zodiac, compass, and world, crown each geisha, suggesting variety and favorable circumstances for significant advancement. But this forward motion depends on the quality of wisdom underlying your power of discernment the page. The crows in the far distance, the crows in the far distance indicate an omen of approaching change. In shamanic practice, crow medicine is called upon to aid in clarity of vision and personal transformation. Guard against scattering your energies at this time and know that the mighty alley, ally of discernment is, a, is critical to your survival along the spiritual path is on the physical plane. There are not many worldly laws to protect the human heart as it ventures into the unseen seen realms of the spiritual psyche. Yet the perils are just as real, if not greater, precisely because of, the, of their intangible nature. The sovereignty of our spiritual domain rests with our own wise counsel in the natural laws of cause and effect. Wise discern discernment is key to effective integration of spiritual principle in our daily lives and well worthy of the time, effort, and patience needed to cultivate it. Hmm. So Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading and thank you so much for watching.